Good evening, friend, from CNN's New York Bureau. I'm Nancy Grace. Tonight, a shocking case of crime and corruption makes its way to court. But first, straight to CNN's special guest anchor from CNN headquarters in Atlanta for a check of headlines at this hour. This is CNN, the most trusted name in news, reporting from the CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Stevie Weeby. And I'm Bethany Jackson. With the CNN News Update. Beth? Our top story this hour, home mail delivery and loose jaws swatting is being disturbed against filing more assaults on letter carriers. Protecting hawks have been taken up residents in one neighborhood and they are on patrol. Residents along with Four cities blocks were notified that services was being surrendered due to safety concerns. They were told they could pick up their mail in a downtown Canadian Post outlet. The hawks have a nest in the pine tree. They're swatting and flying all around and saying swathing rattles. Wildlife officials plan to remove the nest once the birds abandon it. She was told that the hawks is in a protected species and the active nest cannot be disturbed. In medical news, it seems like more and more children in the U.S. are developing food allergies, and there's data to back that up. The number of kids with food allergies went from 18% from 1997 to 2007, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Are children not being exposed enough to bacteria? Should they eat common allergens such as nuts and shellfish at an earlier age? Recent studies support the idea that causes of allergies are increasing in a number of severity cases because children grow up in environments that are simply too clean. One major theory is that instead of fighting infections, our immune systems are being to fight things, the environment and foods which are normally good for us. Beth? In sports news, contracts hold out fantasy-driven scandals and ugly labor notifications seem to have rocked the world of professional sports lately more than at any other point in recent memory. And yet, financially, athletes seem to be nearly receptionist proof. SportsIllustrated.com has compiled a list of 50 top-earning American athletes by salary-winning endorsements and appearance fees. So who's holding the top five multi-million dollar money bags coming in at number five Alex Randazos with 30 million number four LeBron James with 46 million number three Floyd Merriweather Jr. with 60 million number two Philip Michelson with 62 million and at number one Mr. Woods with a hefty 91 million. Ooh that's a lot of money Beth and finally in entertainment Glory days are in the forecast for the fans of Bond, James Bond that is. It will likely be years before 007 returns to the big screen thanks to money troubles at MGM, Bond's longtime studio partner. Even Daniel Craig's teams that have moved on, signing up for a lead in a different potential franchise, the girl with the dragon tattoo. The last time the Bond series was put on uh, in this sort of indefinite hole was back in the early 1990s after a slew of legal battles nearly wrecked the series. No franchise can afford to be away from the screens for a long time anymore. You lose too much momentum, says former says a former uh, MGM executive. Even for Bond, that could prove to be a disaster, whether shaken or stirred. Beth, in closing. And that's our report for now. For a check of the news any time of the day, just log on to our website at CNN.com. Reporting from the CNN Center in Atlanta, I'm Bethany Jackson. And I'm Stevie Weedy. Have, Have a great, great day. day. See the newsroom and studios of CNN's world headquarters in Atlanta. See what it takes to cover the world 24-7. Shop our latest merchandise at the Turner Store. Check out your favorite anchors and become a star in your own newscast. Call or visit us online for daily tour information and reservations. Then go Inside CNN.